the last number of the third book of the Java Street is called In the Streets of Old Batavia. And like all last numbers uh, in this street so far and to come, uh, it is a sort of a noisy one. Uh, and in fact, they get sort of increasingly noisy. This is a melting pot of a music describing uh, a situation which at the time was extremely unusual, where you would have an extreme mix of different kinds of population. So he says there are natives, so Javanese, and there are, of course, Dutch, other Europeans, Chinese, Arabs, uh, other Asiatics, uh, all bustling about in the, in the city. And he describes the effect as being quite startling for someone who is not used to it. Uh, it was certainly one of the numbers that appealed to me the least when I started working at the, at the suite. Uh, I have come round to it. It will remain perhaps not my favorite, but I do have to say that it is very clever. The effect, if you are familiar with Albanis Iberia, the intention and the effect is kind of similar to what Lava Pies is doing, which is also in the third book of the Iberia. And as I said before, there, there are a number of correspondences between the two, um, between the two cycles. So we just go from one population to another, really. Uh, we start, start, it's undeniably Chinese. <laughs> which goes on for quite a while, and it gives immediately the, uh, the feel of the bustle of a very noisy street, uh, outdoor, warm, it absolutely conveys that very well. We have bells. Um, and then it's like switching and we change uh, quarters entirely. And it's a different kind of music. So I'm not sure, in fact, which continent, which country, which uh, he's trying to represent with this. Uh, I have not been to Java. Uh, what it reminds me of very much is when I was in New York, and we, uh, when you walk in the street of New York, well, um, you, you are in New York, and then suddenly Chinese Quarter, uh, and you feel like you are in China, then Little Italy, and puff, uh, and you just turn a corner, and the ambience is completely different. And that's very much what happens here. So after this, I don't know, then we, we get into uh, another part of uh, <laughs> I suppose is the Arab quarter, um, but it's interesting because he hasn't used that scale, which to ours, our ears as European gives this distinctly Islamic flavor to the music. He hasn't used that at all, um, so I can't even be sure. What he has used is extensive repetition of the formula in all the part of the texture. So. Uh, section is completely built on that. It gets more and more language to the point the music almost stops really. And then you feel the snakes are out of the box and there's this sort of... feels very much like a more Persian sort of music. 
But then, and I won't take you through everything, uh, then we have a sort of a recapitulation, which again, Godofsky being who he is, uh, everything is magnified and amplified. So what came out first as a... is now a... which certainly doesn't make it easier. Uh, and in fact, this piece uh, has a few of the most insane moments of the Java Suite where you feel Godowski has gone slightly too far pianistically. Um, and the end is just a great toll of bells, uh, of sort of a triumphant feeling. So, yes, it's not the most profound, but it's definitely a fun piece. <laughs> Thank you. 